play everyone here for what a lot of people consider to be one of the main events of this round. Um, Eternally vs. Rodri Blue Tie was a great game that I um, wanted to see personally. Another game that I really wanted to see personally was FLCL against Lax. There are a couple other off the top of my head, but let's focus in on this one. Um, so here, FLCL is ranked first, and Lax is ranked like third or fourth or something like that. I don't remember. He should have been ranked like 12th, though. This guy's a scrub, but nevertheless, um, we've got two teams here, so let's look into them. For Lax, we have um, one Pokemon that stands out to me, this little ice cream fella in the middle here, Vanillux. And for FLCL, we have an Ice Resist that's weak to Freeze Dry. So that strikes me as um, an interesting team choice from the FLCL side there. Um, perhaps a risk that was not worth taking. But um, aside from that, which clearly sways the matchup quite a bit in Lax's favor, um, both teams look pretty fine. Guzzlord is a cool addition, especially on um, a Salgor Spike kind of just chipping away. And the momentum from Simeon plus Atu. Um, no surprise to see Lex plus Dual Psychic Core from FLCL. I feel like that's a common thing. Ground, so Stealth Rock plus Zatu plus Slowbro in the tier. And FLCL is one of the first people to really start using that often enough. On Lax's side, we have his favorite, Stealth Rock Torterra. Um, actually, <sighs> pardon me, it could be Banded or it could be Swords Down Special Defensive with Stealth Rock Dreddy Gone, especially the Taunt variant, which has been catching on quite a bit, quite a bit as of late, which I like. Nice adaptation. Um, beyond that, we have the Vanilla X, as I mentioned before. Probably Specs. Could be Plate or Z, though. Or Never Melt Ice, of course. A superior to Plate. It's likely Scarf for Simeon. Which seems to be physically defensive Slowbro, but only saying that because we've got Specially Defensive Torterra and all that good, and a Steel Volley. And then speaking of Specially Defensive, probably Specially Defensive Steel Volley with the Fog Pivot. Just nice synergy and an Ice Cream check that the other team simply doesn't have. <laughs> also, a nice sort of non taunt, comfy variants. Or even taunt if you have the multi attack or iron head or whatever. Um, anyway, without further ado, I'd say that Lax has a team matchup, but let's get into the game. We got the Simeons staring each other down to lead. I think the slower one of the two is going to be an advantage, especially if both want for U turn, and that is going to be the case. So we see U turn into a Steelix after the other one U turned into each other. I imagine we see a taunt here, but we see Guzzler predicting that. Nicely done. So I feel going to get off to a good, good start. But is going to come in and eat a Specs Draco, only doing 65, seeing as that means it could live two hits. And it's also a special defensive variant. Interestingly enough, instead of recovering up, it's going to go to the um, Passimian. It's going to be slower than the Asago, which is likely Specs, given Focus Blast. And knockoff after a miss, and then knockoff just going to 2 kill it. So that's a nice trade for Lax's side. And now we see on the Passimian from FLCL, close combat, trying to kill the Passimian into the slow bro. So giving Lax uh, another um, advantageous position. Hmm. A double close combat, likely over predicting a double switch there as we see a future site into a toxic there from Lax's side. I imagine we'll see the Silver Valley still here. We're going to see you taking advantage of it. No, but the Draco does enough to chip it to 41% and future site's not going to affect the Guzzlord, of course. Now we see um, Passimian here on a parting shot. Gaining momentum for Lax side, not getting into the side too nice. Now we'll get free rocks from the Lax side, assuming that's what this is. And yep, they go up here, then that especially defensive swords dance to Terra. Um, taunt on a uh, stealth rock. Yep, keeping them away from Lax's side. Nicely done. Slowbro's going to come on in here as the opposing Slowbro pivots in as well. Lax is this toxic, so it's likely an advantageous position, but I'm going to switch out, fearing maybe a signal beam or predicting a double switch. However, Guzzlord's going to come in. And it should match up pretty well against Distradion. Close of all, still is going to come in on the Dark Pulse, taking a bit under half, and then 47, leaving it at 12%. I imagine we might see a parting shot here, although if it's you turn to go for that. Parting shot, yeah, but that's going to bounce it out, giving FLCM momentum, and the ability to go to his Passimian, taking Stealth Rock, putting it at 94%. Looking at this now, I imagine we see a U-turn to try to get some momentum, but instead we see a knockoff. Knockoff into Culver Bay, not a great turn there for FLCM. He forfeits any chance of getting momentum, whereas Lax... Tries to gain it himself by going the Passimian on the double switch there. You turning into the slow bro, getting the um Dreadigon in there on a skull, which will not burn. Um double switch back out to slow bro there. Ice beam, nice scout. Ice beam is something that you can see on a surface range, it's not very common. Now it goes back in and seeing left scald. I feel like I would have toxic there. I guess he feared that too. Anyway, Dreadigon's gonna itself gonna reveal to be toxic. I'm taking 39% from the ice beam there, so it's fine. Nice sequence there for Lax, scouting things out. Slow bro. I'm going to pause here because personally, one of these turns I just would have gotten Vanillux in and just started clicking freeze dry. 
I feel like he had the ability to do that without being too KO'd. But I kind of like how he played it a bit more conservatively, saving it for later, if only because that meant that he would have kept it more intact HP-wise. So if need be, he could have potentially gotten two kills with it later on if the game drew out. But given the pace, um, he seems to be just kind of capitalizing on everything. And I like how Lax is doing here, even if I think he could have probably been a bit more... Um, aggressive or liberal with his utilization of the Vanillax. But anyway, he gets the Slowbro in on the Steelix, which is just another nicely, nicely pivoted play. Nicely pivoted. That's not even like a proper phrase. N nice pivot there from Lax. Scald, and it's finally going to uh, get crippled, but then the um, Toxic Mist. I was going to say get Stealth Rocks up, but he didn't even click Rocks. Toxic Mist there sucks for the FLCL side. Lax's lead gets a bit bigger. When she has Scald there, Future Sight, Grass Knot, Traded by two slow bros. I imagine that we'll see two switches here. We see the Droidy gone on the Steelix. So Rocks are going to stay off if he clicks Taunt. And that is what we will see from the Droidy gone indeed. Instead, we're going to see a heavy slam from FLCL, critting the um, Droidy gone doing 28%. And then we'll see Future Sight on the Steelix doing 22%. So pretty neutral turn there. We see slow bro come in on Zatu. Probably just threaten away, but it might be scared of Toxic. I don't know. Defog on Zatu is... Um, Weird. I've never seen that one before, but hey, I guess that makes a lot of sense when you have no other defogger and you want to keep him off. But I'm not sure I really agree with it a ton. But anyway, we'll see Scald and the Guzzler at 13% being chipped down. Guzzler's finally going to take up Supply Steel on the third time in, getting special attack boost and inviting in either Passimian or Vanillux. Passimian's going to come in again on a U turn. That's who's low enough to where U turn should take it out, giving Lax a 5 4 advantage over it, leaving the Passimian chipped to 20%. Rotary here getting leftovers. Nothing could kill it and outspeed it unless it's going shot on the Passimian. We're going to see close combat instead. Probably a roll in this return, actually, which is fine. Taking out the opposing Passimian. Slowbro here, easily enough to check it. And Guzzler's weakened. So seeing the opposing Slowbro come in with Toxic and Chip. This is really important because the Toxic Mist from before from FLCL is really showing how vital it was. Because Slowbro could have been taking passive damage consistently. Scald and Grass not created there. However, the Slowbro on Lax's side is just healthier and faster. And then it's called the Persimian burning it, pretty much locking the game up for Lax, I'm going to be honest. It is 4-4, but like, this Slowbro is just kind of a menace. And Ice Cream comes in and gets a kill, and you can't really break this unless you toxic it before. And he didn't have that ability because he missed. So yeah, it's a wrap. Um, looks like Lax is just going to walk away with this. Scald here on another Scald. Is it going to get a burn at least? No burn on the Slowbro. Down to 2%. Simeon comes in here just as fodder on another skull following that, making it 4-3 for Lax. Guzzler's going to come in here now, forcing it out. I ran to fodder, Dreddy Gun, Archer, Tara. Dreddy Gun is a fodder. Dark Pulse is there. Poison damage going to rack up on the Guzzler, leaving it at 13%. Finally, we see the Vanillux one-drop impact freeze-dry here, giving him 3-2 advantage. And now the Steelix is going to probably die to it, but he switches out as a precaution into the Torterra on a Toxic. All right, nice and safe play there. Now what we're going to just see is probably just Torterra spamming Earthquake. Oh, Protect from Steelix, so it's eq -less, interestingly enough. Probably fine on this team, even if there's no hard and Sonora counter. Kind of like having Earthquake, but you don't really need it. Kind of the FLCL way of doing it. Anyway, Earthquake, after the Hail and Poison, is going to take out Slow, but I actually just needed the Poison. And then the Torterra is going to go down next turn, I imagine, on the Protect. And then Vanillax with Blizzard is going to be able to finish it out. After Hell gets back up, Stolbro could have done the trick as well, though, of course. Given Lax a 2-0 victory, making him as well 2-0. And FLCL, who was ranked first in 0-2, pretty much all of the first-ranked players, besides Levy and um, TTG, are 0-2. Those two combined to be 3-0 right now. Levy is about to play the second game in a minute, but I'm not writing this. But anyways, it's finished. These are all the new games in Phase 1. Peace.